Well, one of the things you have to understand is the nature of the enemy. This is Chairman Mao talked about this tree of terror. And he said there are splinters, speaking metaphorically, splinters that fall off. And each one of these splinters is an insurgent. We see this in Ohio State. We've seen this in San Bernardino. You saw it in Orlando. You see it on 23rd Street in Manhattan. It exists in this country now. So the first thing is we need more surveillance. Surveillance of mosques that preach this kind of extremism. And second, I think we've got to understand this is a long war. We've got to fight this war ideologically mm -hmm. and ideationally. Look, the Constitution provides civil liberties. We're not going to abandon those civil liberties. But at the same time, we have to realize the President of the United States has responsibility for national security, maintaining the peace, maintaining tranquility. And so he has a responsibility for balancing the two. The President of the United States can engage in surveillance. He can deal with these groups that are promoting radical ideas. And I think that Donald Trump has made it clear that he intends to do that. We're going to have a change in the way in which we engage in both the rhetoric as well as the surveillance accompanying the kind of activity that is necessary for our FBI and other intelligence agencies.